So I obtained a Paw Patrol book, coloring book, and today I'm taking a look at this one. You can see it's got a mix of uh, orientations for the drawings, which is handy. And then it's got some puzzles and things like that. Um, but the drawings seem pretty interesting and they have a fair number of them. So that's what I'm going to be experimenting with today. So I started coloring and right away I realized I'm not sure what color these dogs are supposed to be. Fortunately on the back of the jumbo coloring book they have a picture of five or six of them. Maybe that's all that are in the book. So I was able to look back there, match them up with the um, tags they had around their neck and get a fair idea what they're supposed to look like. But I'm, as you can see, I started coloring them light brown and I looked at the picture and I said, yeah, it's really a lot darker brown. So I went over it and my color broke. So then I had to use a really small color. I didn't want to try and add yet a third color in there. But, um, and I'm working as hard as I can, you can see, with just a little tiny short uh, color. And I found that these pictures, after I got into them, have a fair amount of detail. Each of the pups are drawn nicely with a lot of character, expressions, movement going on. So I wanted to try and capture all of that with the coloring and that required a fair amount of uh, touch up touch up as I went so now I'm moving on to rubble and he's kind of a everything around him is yellow but it's kind of a yellow brown so I decided to color him yellow first and then shade over it with brown because I don't really have a yellow brown so that's what I'm doing here and I'm trying to match the kind of yellow brown, tannish brown that um, is on the pictures for rubble. I think what I'll do the next time I, the next Paw Patrol book I do, I'll probably try in pencil and see if that works better. Uh, as colors were a little tricky on this one, but I'm working my way forward. First time I drawing a Paw Patrol. I have to keep going back and looking at the picture and decide well what color is his nose, what color is his paws, and I don't like using white and Rubble's got a lot of white just because it's so hard to come through on, on the drawing. So I usually add a little gray in with the white to um, make it jump out. Now I should be moving over to Chase. Tried to start with his badge, silver and gold, with a little blue in it. And then his collar was black. And I tried to do those parts first before I did his body so that I could uh, get the fine details out of the way. But now Chase is coming along. Starting to shade in. The brown that I used. I have to decide what to do with his fur on his face and stomach as well because it's kind of like once again kind of a yellow brown at least on the cover of the coloring book. So that was handy. Without that I guess I could look up on the web which I later did and printed out pictures of each one with the name on them. So your kids probably know, so and they'll probably help you with uh, what colors would go with each one. So I kind of got the pups drawn, and then I decided I wanted to tackle the background as well. So then I started looking for colors that. Uh, Kind of bring out the pups. I decided to use, make the floor in this. This is, I think, their their main headquarters. And I made the floor all nice blue. 
just to give me some color, colorful background. And that worked out fine. Then I wanted some red, so I put that back here on the, the back wall. And then I made this some silver on the on the instrument panel, and I wanted to put some colorful colors on the knobs and dials. So I thought, well, what can I use there? So I tried to pick a green, something that would just jump out a little bit. Some red and some yellow. And then finally, through the windows, I like to make those yellow just to make it look like a bright sunny day outside. So that's the Paw Patrol. Hope you like it.